Welcome to our community engagement session. Thank you for showing such interest in the future of library services in our community. This session is a chance for us to listen to you and your thoughts on the future of your library service. The way people use libraries has changed greatly in recent years. People want to be able to access resources outside of normal working hours and with the growth of technology, this is now possible. People are spending less time actually visiting libraries and more time accessing their resources online. However, the amount of resources available in libraries is expanding. It's no longer just about books, but also magazines, DVDs, programs such as Storytime, access to internet and online services. The mobile library itself has changed since it was introduced in 1989. Originally, it was purchased to service towns in the previous shire of Walpiap two days a week on a fortnightly schedule. Then a second mobile was purchased in 1999 with assistance from a grant through the state government and it became a weekly service and incorporated Nangelok, Werrimal and Lake Coleraine. Then the current mobile was purchased in 2010 with a successful grant from the Living Libraries Program. We want to make sure that our library service keeps up with your expectations. This means we need to adapt the way we provide services to make sure we're meeting your needs. In 2013, we began this process by consulting with you and incorporating your feedback into our library strategy. The strategy set the direction of our library service for the next five years, taking into account the changing trends in provision of public library services. One action in the strategy was to conduct a review of the viability and hours of mobile library sites. Then, in 2015, we commenced a full service review of all our services. These reviews are being undertaken for all services within Council. This review was undertaken to ensure that the library service is providing a relevant, cost-effective service to the community and is value for money. It was also to see if it is delivering services as efficiently as possible and is affordable into the future. Therefore, we looked at borrowing trends, financial sustainability and different models to deliver service. So what did we find? One of the key findings for the mobile library indicated that it is being underutilised and that the cost of providing this service has been increasing. Overall, the mobile library has 328 active users. These are people who have used their membership card at least once in the past year to borrow an item or use a computer. All up, the library has around 110 visits each week. The mobile library currently opens 28 and a half hours a week and has 4% of active library users in the whole library service. Murrayville has four and a half hours of service a week and has 17% of active users of the mobile library service. Oyen is the largest with 45% of active users. In addition to this, the items loaned through the mobile library has steadily been decreasing over many years and in 2015-2016, only 15,481 items were borrowed, compared with around 28,000 items 17 years ago. What makes this graph interesting is that it shows the increase in loans to 27,000 items when the second mobile library commenced in 1999. The service also went from fortnightly to a weekly service and the Nangelok, Wirramal and Lake Coleraine sites were introduced but now loans have decreased back to the level of 18 years ago. Murrayville had around 2,748 items borrowed last year, which is about 55 loans per week. Visits show a similar trend as loans with Murrayville having around five people visit per hour.
So our current model is not flexible to cover changes in mobile library services. Our model needs to be relevant, suitable, meets needs and cost effective. Part of our overall strategy is to ensure that everyone in our community has access to library services. In some cases, this will mean a change to how you traditionally access these resources. We want to continue to provide you with access to key library services and to ensure library services remain sustainable in the future. We are interested in changing the way we deliver the service due to the cost and lack of access, not to close the service. So what is our information telling us? The current service is being used less and costing more. There are other service models which could be more suitable to residents and could increase access. The current subsidy level of $719 per active user is not sustainable. The need to replace the prime mover and mobile library in the next few years has to be considered, approximately $800,000. The longer these vehicles are kept, maintenance costs increase and resale value decreases. We've already started talking to some of you and you've told us that you really value your libraries. You love the great customer service and the convenience, access to a range of services and a variety of materials to browse. It's a wonderful meeting place with a good atmosphere you can order online and pick up later and there is access to the internet. So what are other Victorian public libraries in a similar situation currently doing? Some libraries are running a parcel post service where people can order items online and then they can be posted out to them or can be picked up from another branch library. Several library services are bringing boxes of items to a community centre for people to look through and borrow, such as the High Country Library Service and Library to Go at Glenelg Library Service. Others have pop-up libraries, such as in the Indigo Library Service, who could no longer access a mobile library. They now operate pop-up libraries, which have regular visits to community facilities in their smaller towns. The City of Ballarat replaced their mobile library last year and now use vans to visit their smaller townships with items for loan. In larger towns, several Victorian councils have amalgamated their libraries with their service centres such as Kilmore in Mitchell Shire, Trelgan in La Trobe Valley and Kyabram in Compassby. The Compassby Library Service has also operated library depots for many years in their smaller towns. Stanhope is a town 50 kilometres from Echuca and there are about 490 people living there. The depot is in a room in an old bank building that was given to the community. It runs as a transaction centre as well with a part-time Bendigo bank and has computers available for the public. A committee runs the depot four hours a day, five days a week. It has approximately 2,000 items available for loan. Gagari is 40 kilometres from Echuca and has a population of around 590 people in the area. The depot is in a community cottage where there are many community activities run through. The depot is in the lounge room section of the house and contains about a thousand items. A committee runs the depot seven hours each day, five days a week. Colbanabin is a small town 60 kilometres from Echuca. It has about 200 people living there. The depot is in the back of a hall and ran by the hall committee who have six volunteers rostered on. The hall committee runs the depot on Wednesdays for one hour and there are around 1,200 items for loan. Compassby also has three other depots at Gunbower, Lockington and Tulane which all operate differently depending on the community. The Compassby Library Service has an agreement with each committee or business to run the depot on their behalf and pays a fee. The Goldfields Library Service, based in Bendigo, will stop their mobile library service from December this year and will replace it with seven library agencies in towns such as Bort, Dingy, Inglewood, Wedderburn and Elmore. 
They currently operate a library agency at Pyramid Hill. So what now? We want to hear from you and get your ideas on how to make your library service more suitable for you and sustainable into the future. Feedback to be considered and presented to Council. Proposals advised to the community and formal submissions invited. Final report to Council for consideration and decision. We are interested in changing the way we deliver the service because of cost and lack of access, not closing the service. Therefore, we would like to hear your suggestions on what library services could look like for Maravul in the future.